CSU Monterey Bay is located on California's central coast, two hours south of San Francisco. It's a beautiful place next to miles of trails along with pristine beaches bordered by a world-renowned marine sanctuary. Thousands of students and staff may consider the campus itself a sanctuary, but sadly, that sanctuary can be violated. This beautiful campus could become the backdrop of a scene that happens all too often across this country. Chances are you'll never face a situation like this one. But if you do, you need to be prepared. I'm Chief Earl Lawson with the California State University Monterey Bay Police Department. The members of UPD have prepared this video to help improve your chances of surviving an active shooter incident. CSU Monterey Bay's police department trains countless hours to be prepared for emergency situations such as this. Our number one priority is to keep you safe. Make no mistake, you can survive an active shooter incident by remembering three important steps. Run, hide, fight. If the campus community experiences an active shooter or similar emergency, our police department will send out what's called an otter alert. These text messages are sent as soon as possible after determining that a threat exists. An auto alert will contain the most accurate information available at the time, but an active shooter situation evolves rapidly and details may be limited. It's important for you to remain observant. Use your senses to be aware of your surroundings at all times. The first and best option to survive is to run. Get as far away as you can. Once you're at a safe distance, call 911. 911, what's your emergency? Make sure you tell the 911 operator, who is located at the Monterey County's Dispatch Communication Center, that you are on the CSUMB campus. The officers are on their way. Running away should always be your first priority. But what happens when you hear gunshots and are unable to get out? This 101 focuses on engaging the students in writing, building. Your second reaction should be to hide. Everybody get under your desk. If you're in a room, lock the door. Look for something to barricade entry points. Turn off lights. Silence your cell phone. The idea is to make it as hard as possible for the shooter to see you, find you, or get to you. Alert says the shooter's in the building. And always spread out. Don't huddle together. That creates one easy target. If running isn't an option and hiding isn't an option, there's one last reaction you should consider if confronted by the shooter. Fight. Find anything to use as a weapon. A fire extinguisher, a chair. Fighting back is the last resort, but if it's between you and the shooter, we want you to survive. When preparing yourself for this fight mentally, remember something. Statistically, active shooters are apprehended or eliminated within the first five minutes of the incident. Once notified, our officers will respond to stop the shooter. Keep fighting until our officers arrive. That could be 10 seconds away the most important 10 seconds of your life. It's scary to think about, but an active shooter is something we all need to be prepared for. Whether you're a student or a member of our staff or faculty, take time to know your surroundings. Know at least two exits out of your room and building. Take different routes into and out of your building to become familiar with every possible escape route. Look around the room you're in right now. Find areas where you could hide or items that you could use as weapons. Three simple words can save lives. Remember, run, hide, fight. <laughs>